Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh. I am the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. Uh, I'm here in the United States in Rhode Island, where I'm a member and a director as well. And today's presentation is the uh, updating your member profile. I also call it you know, increasing your VCP, your visibility, credibility, and profitability using BNI Connect. And what we're going to talk about today is you know, all the various places that you're seen within the system, both when you're logged into BNI Connect as well as on the outside of the system, meaning your regional website, and how to make sure that all of your information is properly updated and stored in your profile. Today's webinar uh, lasts approximately one hour, um, although I am always happy to stay on these webinars. It is a live webinar, and I'm happy to stay here as long as people have questions, whether it's about this functionality or about anything else in the system. Uh, I see some people have started entering questions already. Please feel free to continue to do so if there's anybody else on the call that has any questions. At any time, you can enter the questions in using the chat or question feature within the software. And I will be happy to address those questions as we're going along, or if it's a question unrelated, uh, uh, we should have some time at the end of this webinar to discuss those questions. This webinar is being recorded. Uh, we'll make it available uh, at a later time. If this is a higher quality one than the ones that we already have uploaded, we'll replace it with this one. Otherwise, I'll try to send out a link in a couple of days after we get it uploaded and shared to all the people that participated in the call today. So, uh, I always like to start this webinar with a, a little story. This is a true story. This happened to me uh, about two months ago, um, and I was sitting here in my office here in Rhode Island, and a client walked in. Uh, it's an existing client that I've had for a long time, and you know, this is one of the best possible situations. He comes right up to my desk, and he says, hey, I need a referral. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, how often does that happen? This is great. Okay, sure. How can I help you? So he told me he needed somebody, he has, a, he has an in-house bookkeeper, but she needs to be shown a couple of things on QuickBooks that she doesn't know how to do. And I said, oh, you know what, that's great. I have a bookkeeper in my chapter that's a certified QuickBooks consultant, and I'd love to make that referral. So as I'm sitting here at my computer, and unfortunately my card file is sitting on the front seat of my car, I'm like, great, I'll look up the information on BNI Connect. So I went there. I went to my regional website, bniri.com for Rhode Island. I went to find a member, and this member, his name is Glenn Zabolis in my chapter. So I put in Zabolis, did a search for him, and I go to pull up his profile, and here's what I got. And actually, two months ago, it didn't even have a picture here. So it just had you know, the, the city name, his name, and a brief one sentence about his business. What I was really hoping to do was to actually print this page out as an enhanced business card to be able to pass off more information about Glenn and his business that you just can't pass over in just a business card. I ended up scrambling, getting his phone number um, off of my phone, writing it on a little yellow sticky note, um, but it wasn't quite the experience that I wanted to have. And this is all because um, you know, Glenn hasn't taken the time quite yet to update his profile completely, which is what we're going to talk about today. In contrast, if somebody had looked for me on our regional website, or even if they Googled me, they'd get my member page. And this is what they'd see on my page. So you can see it has an address on here. It has both my office number, my mobile number, my website, my social media links, the ability to send me a message. And that is a real email message. It's not uh, within the system. It goes to your email address on your profile, though we will never show that online. Uh, it also shows more about my business, my elevator pitch, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff about what my ideal referral is. Now, this type of information can help to increase your visibility and credibility right away with a potential referral source. And people are using these regional websites to find people to refer to, both other people that are in your state or your region, to cross-refer to other BNI chapters, as well as the general public that know about BNI, that trust BNI, or they're just searching for various things on the internet. So that's what we're going to go over today. We're going to go over how to fill out your member profile. We'll also show you the profiles on the inside of the system that have even more information. I do see that there's a couple of questions up already, and I wanted to address one of these questions right now from Michael. Michael says, I can't figure out how to show my business logo on the landing page. And I'm assuming you mean here on the uh, public profile. 
And as a matter of fact, that is something that is coming in the very next release of BNI Connect. Uh, we do updates on the system constantly, so we're always putting new things into the system, uh, finding enhancements, better ways to do things, and that happens about once every two months or so, once every two to three months, um, a big initiative comes through. And this one is going to be in the next couple of weeks, uh, the actually the, probably the last week in October. And what you'll see is your logo will appear right here on your public profile on the right-hand side. So we very much look forward to that. Myself, as a member, I look forward to that as well. Um, so I hope that answers your question, Michael. Um, if you are, on the other hand, talking about on the inside of the system here, uh, it does not at this point show up on this page. So uh, that would make a great suggestion for a future release, uh, but right now it's not there. So Michael, I hope that answers your question there, at least the first question. Now the updating your profile is important for a couple of region, reasons. As I said, this is what people see when they're not logged into BNI Connect, so when they're just out there on the on the internet. Once you get within the system, there's another thing that people see when they're searching for you. Now, if you'd like to see what your profile potentially looks like to other people, click on this profile button at the bottom of your screen. So this is the, the, the footer of every screen, and you can see that there's a profile link here. This will show you what you look like to other people. Now this is assuming that you've shared all of your information, but this is your profile within the system. It'll show all the different roles that you have, whether you're a director or whether you're a member, whether you're a vice president. It'll show you your name, your business, your keywords, your company. Your logo does show up here to other people. You know, your phone numbers, email address if you choose to share it. And we'll get into how to share these things later. And your physical address, as well as all these other tabs. So. Um, information about your bio and your commercials and your gains profile and tops profile, all the various connections that you have, your testimonials that people have left for you, any photos that you've chosen to upload, discussion groups, social media discussion groups that you are participating in, and your training history. So let's get into how, how to get through and update all of this stuff. So in any screen in BNI Connect, you should still be able to see this My Account button up here in the upper right-hand corner. And we're going to click on this My Account button now. And this is where you're going to go to update all of the stuff that we saw on that other screen. Now this first tab is the Main Profile tab. Now, this tab has you know, your main information about you. So your name, you know, your title, Mr. or Mrs. Doctor. Your name, if you have a suffix such as junior or the third or um, things along those lines, you can put that in there. And this display name is just going to show you what the display name is. Uh, so this, this will get automatically updated as you change things in your name. And also your company name. Now, for those of you that are on the call that are here in the United States, uh, you can safely ignore this field right here, VAT reference number. Uh, what a VAT is, VAT stands for Value Added Tax, and that's the equivalent of, the, of our sales tax over in, in uh, the UK and other European countries. Uh, so this is a helpful field for them to enter in that information, but for us, um, it, you can leave that blank, or if you'd like to use it for another purpose, you're more than welcome to. Um, if this was filled out, the product service description, uh, that's uh, the, the place where your regional office can enter what was entered on your application at the time that you applied to BNI. Uh, that is not an editable field. The next things are what's chosen from the drop-down lists of available categories within BNI Connect. So you can see that my industry is computer and my classification is computer services. So that is that is also not editable directly by us as a member. Uh, that's something that you would have to, if that is listed incorrectly, uh, please contact your regional office and they'll be able to help you out with that. It'll let you know what chapter you're in and what your status is, whether you're active, late, 
expired or pending a renewal. And then this My Business field here, this is the information that, again, it, the way I look at this one is if you were to go to somebody at a networking event, so let's say that you're at a chamber event or during open networking at your chapter meeting and you meet somebody that you've never met before, this is your elevator pitch of what you would say to them. So I consider it, you know, that 30-second that sales speech uh, describing what your business is. And that's what I would put in this My Business field here. Now, one thing to keep in mind, let me go back to my profile here, and I'll show you where this stuff shows up. And go back to my profile. This My Business field here is pulled directly from the My Business on this first tab. Now, when things are updated on the inside of BNI Connect, they are immediately updated on the outside pages as well. It's pulling directly from there. So if I was to, let's say, take this out of there and just type in a bunch of gobbledygook here, and I click Update, what you'll see, I do need to refresh this page, but the next person that went there they would see this new information that I put in there right away. Now, Michael has another question here. He says that my business is a bit hard to locate and GPS often misleads people. I'd like to show a hyperlink to a map of my location. Should I do this in the My Business description? And I think that would be a great use for the My Business description. Uh, the one thing that I may warn you about is I don't think it will show up as a hyperlink. So if I put in... Uh, just www.google.com. I have a feeling, and uh, it's always a little dangerous doing this live on the air, but if I go ahead and update this and refresh, this isn't showing up as a hyperlink, so somebody would have to copy it and paste it in order to get to that vet, that, to that um place on the internet. Um, so, Michael, uh, again, I think it would be a good use for it, um, but again, it's not going to show up as a hyperlink. So, but you could explain that pretty clearly with text. You know, please use this for directions to my office location. You might need to copy and paste or something like that. Um, so, Michael, I hope that answers your second question there. All right, so I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to put my original text back in there. And every time you make updates to this, uh, you do want to click the Update button that's on the bottom of these pages, um, especially if you're in there doing things like the bio uh, that have a lot of typing in it. You may want to periodically hit this Update button, just like you would if you were typing a long Word document. Save your changes in between. And you'll notice when I click Update, There'll be a saved icon that is right here at the bottom of the screen. It's just there for a couple of seconds. The save generally happens pretty quickly. So the next part here is the keywords. Now, you really want to spend some time thinking about this particular part of the system, and this is because this is how you get found. Uh, just like Google keywords, uh, BNI Connect keywords are what people are going to search for you by when they don't know your name. So for a lot of people, um, they've left this empty, and unfortunately, that means that they're not going to be found by keywords. And let me show you how the keywords work here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you want to keep them comma separated, but each one of these search terms is considered a, a, a separate entry. So we've all been spoiled all these years by Google, who has a very complex algorithm for how they're searching. This is a little bit of a simpler search, so it's kind of a one-to-one -one match here. So you want to think about what you're putting in here. One suggestion I have is on, on one of your next one-to-ones that you have with a member of your chapter, just ask them the question, listen, I, I know too much about my own business. I might be a little bit blind to it, but let's say that you wanted to find me on the Internet. What would you search for me by? And that might help you to get some good keywords for there, or talk to the search engine optimization person in your chapter uh, to give you some ideas on what good keywords would be for your particular business. But you do, the, you do have the opportunity to pick whatever you'd like here. 
So when I go to the regional website and I'm doing this find a member search, people can search by a number of different ways. <clears throat> and again, if they know your name, they may put in your first and last name. Now, one thing they could do is search by profession. So there's a drop down here, and if let's say people were looking for a computer person, they might choose computer from the drop down list. Now, when they do this search, it's doing a search against what you have here in your industry. So if I do that search on my regional website, we have approximately, or rather exactly, 69 people that are listed in the computer industry. But now if I do that by keyword, I can see that only 10 people have actually filled out their keywords for computer. So that means if somebody came from the internet and they're searching for a B9 member in my region, the people that have actually entered computer into their keywords are the people that are going to be found. All the rest of the people, unfortunately, are not. And the same holds true. This is the same type of search. The way you get found within BNI Connect is by using this magnifying glass. And if you want to make connections with people around the world in BNI, this is the way to do it. So you would click on this Search People button. Now I'm going to right click on it and choose Open a New Tab so that I don't lose my original page here. And here we have a name keyword search. So in this field, you can search either by name or by keyword. So again, if I, if I wanted to search for you know, computer support and search for those people in the United States, and maybe these are people that I want to make connections to, you know, I'm going to get a of only 64 people in the entire United States have entered computer support into their profile for keywords. So if you want to get ahead of the curve, take some time and fill out your keywords. Once you do find somebody, by the way, and we cover this in our social media uh, webinar, but if you'd like to connect with them, just click this plus button, or you can always click on their name, and that will bring you to their profile so you can see more information about them. All right, going back to our personal member profile. Now, do we have any other questions so far um, on the stuff that I've covered? So Michael asks, is there a way of linking a map on the left side of my profile page under my photo? And I might be able to answer your question on that in just a second. So if we don't have any other questions on this first tab, the main profile tab, uh, let's go on to this second tab, which is the user profile tab. Now what this is, is this is for managing your, your actual username. Yes, you can change your username. If your username, if you happen to be, have been on BNI Connect for a long time or were, um, have been a member for many years, you may have a migrated username, uh, something that says like M-I-G underscore and a bunch of numbers. You can change that if you don't like it. Just click on Change Username, type in your new username that you'd like, and click Submit. As long as the username isn't being used, uh, you are welcome to have it. Uh, at this time, you can still include, if you notice, my username happens to be a smiley face. Um, but I, I highly recommend uh, staying away from using an email address. And my personal reasoning behind that is, uh, especially for a lot of us in small businesses, um, email addresses change somewhat frequently. So I'd hate to, you know, it gets more confusing when you have that as your username. But if that's what you prefer, you're more than welcome to use that as well. And then your memorable question and answer. This is what you're going to use to remind you of your, it's actually going to create a new password for you if you forget your password. Now where you see this is, let me open up another browser here and switch screens for a second. Uh, this is the login page for BNI Connect that you get to when you go to login. If you have forgotten your password, what you'll need to do is click on this link right here. It says lost password, click here. 
and you type in your email address. So my email address is jeremy at the right click dot net. Now once I tab down or click in this answer field, it will display my memorable question. So my memorable question is givers, and if I type the correct answer in and click submit, it will send me an email to this email address with a new password to log in with. Once you get that new password, uh, keep in mind that password is going to be a ridiculously long complex password. It's like 20 characters with uppercase, lowercase, percent signs, and exclamation points, and all sorts of stuff in it. Uh, the reason for that is that it does have to be uh, meet these um, incredible international security standards. We apologize for that, um, but that's just the way it is. Um, copy and paste it, log into the system, and immediately go to your profile tab and change it. Uh, let me switch back over to our other screen here. So then when you do get it, just go back, click on Change Password, paste that incredibly ridiculously long complex password, pick a new password for yourself, and you'll be good to go. BNI Connect, uh, one thing you may or may not know is that it is written in about 42 languages. Uh, if you'd like to experiment with another language, just use this drop-down box and choose another language, or if uh, something other than English is your primary language, you may also choose that from there. If you ever notice that date formats may be a little odd, like you're seeing the, the day, the month, then the year, when you're used to the month, the day, and then the year, or vice versa, uh, that's probably because you may have the base level English, which is based on the UK version of English, uh, instead of the US version of, of English. So just switch over to the U.S. version of English, change it, and you'll be good to go. One thing I forgot to mention real quick is that your, the answer to your memorable question, as well as your password, is case sensitive. So it's case and space sensitive. So if I had chosen a memorable question, such as, uh, what street were you born on? And you know, I put... Lawncrest Road. Now that answer is different from this answer because I have a capital L and a capital R, which is also different from this answer because I have an RD and a period, which is also different than this answer where I have two spaces in it. So it is case space symbol sensitive. I highly recommend that you keep something nice and simple uh, with one word and make it easy on yourself to remember what the answer to your secret question is. Now if you'd like to change your profile picture to something else uh, and or to upload your company logo, you can do that by clicking on the change profile picture or change company logo button. Once you do that, it will bring you to a new screen where if you have something up there you don't like, you can just click the delete button to get rid of it. If you'd like to replace it with another image, click on the magnifying glass. So if I go and I'm, and I, let's say I'm going to change my company logo, and I'm going to use this BNI Connect help button instead as my, comp as my logo. It will give me the opportunity to crop it if I'd like to. So you can crop that image. And then I click Save. And this will be my new company logo, as people will see it on my profile. And again, if you'd like to see what other people see when they see that, you can click on Your Profile, and we can see that new logo there. So on the next tab, we have our contact details. Now our contact details is going to be fairly straightforward. Your phone number, your direct number, your home number, mobile number, pager number, voicemail number, toll-free number, fax number, carrier pigeon number, smoke signal number, any other numbers you'd like to put in there as they're listed here. Uh, the ones that are important to keep up there are your phone number and your mobile number because those are the ones that will appear on your website. So going back to my profile here, uh, the ones that are showing up are the phone number, and your mobile number. 
So be sure to have your numbers up there so people can get in touch with you. Now the email address, again, this is the email address that uh, all communications will be sent to um, for you and BNI Connect. So if your regional office is emailing you, that's the way that they get in touch with you. If your chapter is trying to email you, that's the way that they're going to get in touch with you. And again, if you have a memorable question and answer and you need to reset your password, this is where that email is going to go to. So keep that updated. Now website, again, this is the your company website. One thing to keep in mind is make sure that there's the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash in there. Um, for some websites, um, if that's not in there, when people click on the link here, it misdirects to the wrong page. So make sure that that HTTP colon forward slash forward slash is indeed in there. Now the next part is the social networking links and you can choose from a whole bunch of them down here so uh, you can see them all listed. To find your particular link on any of these social media services just go to your profile there they should have a link for you that you can copy and paste right into here and this is where you may this this may help you Michael um, you asked is there a way of linking to a map on the left hand side of my profile page under my photo this is where you may be able to repurpose one of these so maybe using the I Google link and we click add you can put that link to your um, to your website or to your uh, directions site for people to click on there and maybe reference that back from the my business so it might be a good idea this also might be an excellent suggestion uh, for the programmers if you want to send that in as an email sometime to add a map to my location or something uh, link in here I think that would make a welcome addition and also in the next version of BNI Connect again that's coming out in late October uh, one of the options that's added in here is Pinterest so you'll be able to upload your Pinterest accounts on there as well so the next set right here is the two different addresses your billing address and your regular address now you'll notice that I did something unique on here that I put private by appointment only in my public address the top one is the public address the bottom one is your billing address and by billing address it's a you know that that address isn't shared anywhere it's really meant to be your delivery address that your regional office can get in touch with you with so sometimes that is different from you know maybe a home address or your office address now what I did here was a lot of times what people do is they turn off showing their contact information out here on this public website because they have a home based business if you do have a home based business what I highly recommend doing is just putting in private and or by appointment only or if you want to even just put in it can't be blank but you can put in just a period in there and save that so now if I go to this public website you'll see that it has all of my contact information just without that address but be sure to keep something in the billing address so that your regional office can get in touch with you and or your fellow members now personally I do have a public address so I do want to keep that up there so I'm going to go ahead and put that back in update it and now you'll see that my full address is loaded here Do we have any questions so far on any of these tabs? Excellent. So the, the next tab that we have here is actually the account settings. Now I'm going to skip this one for a second and come back to it in just a minute. The next tab over is the bio tab and here's the meat and potatoes of where you're going to store information about yourself. So this first section here is the my bio now if you've been to a member success program recently this will look awfully familiar this is the same as the bio that your secretary treasurer will hand out to you before your 10 minute presentation you can keep all this information now just online in BNI connect so this saves your vice president I'm sorry your secretary treasurer a step as well as you a step of having to fill it out later
And it also is good because your other chapter members will have visibility to that. And I'll show you how to do that in just a couple of minutes as well. So again, this is years in business, previous types of jobs, your spouse, children, pets, hobbies and interests, city of residence, years in that city, my burning desire, something no one here knows about me and my keys to success. So take some time to fill that out and update it. Um, just like with any other social media site out there, whether we're talking about Facebook, we're talking about LinkedIn, MySpace, um, any of them that are out there, your information is only as good as it is recent. So as things change in your life, go and update them here as well. And I remind you as you're going through this, um, especially in this section here, and you're going in and you're typing away and you're typing away and then you, you know, thinking about it, click the update button every once in a while. Um, there is a timeout in BNI Connect, a security timeout. It's currently set to 35 minutes. So if you walk away from your computer and you haven't touched your computer at all in 35 minutes, it will log you out of BNI Connect. So if you are going to walk away, hit that update button. Um, as long as you're moving the mouse and typing on the screen, you know, the, the timer resets. But just uh, be sure to save every once in a while. It's just good, good practice. The next section here is commercials, and this is where you would put your commercials in, and there's a couple of reasons to put a couple of commercials up here, and um, I think that there is a question here from Michael says, uh, uh, where did the two commercials go in my profile, and this is where you put them in. Um, so these are typically just, just your 60 second commercials as you would give them in your chapter meeting. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Uh, one is, again, people do have visibility to this. So as people are looking up your profile in BNI Connect, they may be people from around the world that have never been to one of your chapter meetings. So this is a way to get some visibility and credibility with BNI members around the world that may see your commercials. And there's another hidden reason for this, and that is, I, I'm not sure if this has ever happened to you before, but all of a sudden, at the very last minute, you realize that you can't make your BNI meeting. You manage to make a phone call, you can get somebody to go, but you have no access to a computer or something like that to type out a 60-second presentation for your substitute. Well, you could actually call up one of your fellow BNI members and say, hey, do me a quick favor. I have a sub coming tomorrow. I managed to, to get that all squared away, but I wasn't able to get them at 60 second. Can you just print out one of my commercials from BNI Connect for me? That way you have both bases covered. So again, store a couple of commercials up here. The next section, uh, again, going back to your member success program, uh, this, the GAINS stands for Goals, Accomplishments, Interests, Networks, and Skills. So you know, these are things about yourself, and again, the purpose of this is to, if you, from, from the member success, if you think about that referral credibility curve, these are things to help you move up that referral credibility curve even faster. The reason behind the GAINS profile is that we're supposed to do a GAINS exchange before we sit down to a one-to-one -one with another member. And this can help facilitate that for you. By storing this information in BNI Connect, uh, before you go to a one-to-one, -one, you can print this information out and send it over to a fellow chapter member or even somebody outside of your chapter that you're doing a one-to-one -one with. Alternatively, you can also look up this information for somebody else in your chapter. And I'll show you, again, I'll show you how to do that in just a couple of minutes um, when I show you some things within the system um, to put some of these things to use. But again, take some time to fill out that GAINS profile. When it comes to public information, the TOPS profile is what's showing up on your public site. So if I go back to my public site here, you'll see Ideal referral, top product, top problem solved, my favorite BNI story, and my ideal referral partner. Again, this is exactly what's here on the bio tab. So your ideal referral, your top product, problem solved, favorite BNI story, and ideal referral partner. So this is available to both the people that are on the 
inside of BNI Connect, in other words, other BNI members around the world, as well as people on the outside. And Araceli, I do see you asked a, a question about what is the games profile. Did that answer your question, or did you have more specific questions on what the games profile is? So, excellent. So that's all the information that we should be updating regularly in BNI Connect in order to, again, increase that visibility, increase that uh, credibility, and that should lead to some increased profitability. Now, let's put some of this stuff to use. Uh, the other tab that I want to show you on here is your Account Settings tab. And this is where you make decisions about you know, what people see both on the inside and on the outside on the public portion of BNI Connect. So this first section is the member to member profile. Now that member to member profile again is this profile that we see. So if I right click on it and open a new tab, this is my BNI Connect profile, my member to member profile. And you can choose what which parts of this information you want to show to other people. So that when people find you using the magnifying glass, again, you can decide what people see. Now, the first part is that bio. Now, the bio is relates to the bio tab on this profile. So right here, the bio tab. If you have that checked on, then other people can see this tab. If you have it turned to My Connections, that means that people can only see that once they become connected to you. And if you set it to None, it means nobody will ever see that tab for your profile ever. Same thing for the My Connections tab, the My Testimonials tab, the My Picture Gallery, the My Email, and My Contact Details. Now again, going back to that, we have the, the My Connections. So it's whether or not people can see your connections, whether or not people can see your testimonials, whether they can see your photos. And when it comes to the contact details and your email address, you can choose to either hide your email address and your contact details, or you can choose to show them. The second part of this is you have a couple of options on the BNI Connect public websites. Again, those regional websites that are available to the entire world. And the first option here is show me on BNI public website. If you uncheck this button, nobody will find you even if they search by name. So let's say I uncheck this, I click update, and I go back to my regional website. If I click on find a member, and now I go to search for myself, I disappeared. I am no longer accessible at all on the regional website. Highly recommend that you take advantage of that free marketing tool and leave that as checked. The second option is allow people to email me from the BNI Public website. Now let me find myself again here. And I'll show you what I mean by this particular portion. If you notice on your public profile here, there's a send message option. Now, again, I, I mentioned briefly, we will never show or share your email address publicly with anyone. What this does do is it does allow people to send you an email message without knowing your email. So they can put in their email address, a subject, and a message. And there's also this CAPTCHA thing down here, which uh, just make sure that, that it isn't a script or a robot that's just harvesting and sending out spam messages. Uh, so when you have that option enabled, again, they'll have the option to click this button. If I go in and I disable that and click Update, that Send Message option goes away. And again, all these changes here are immediate. I'm going to put that back. And the final option here is show my contact details on the BNI Public website. And this one, it says uncheck for home offices. The 
problem with unchecking this is, again, let's take a look at my profile here. You can see all the information on here. If I uncheck this, unfortunately, it doesn't just hide my physical address. It hides everything. So there's no phone numbers or anything else. If that's what you're looking for, go ahead and, and you can hide all that stuff. Um, my opinion, I like people to find me. I like people to call me. I like people to refer to me. Uh, so I do have that information there. And again, if you're worried about a home address or a home office, I would just change your primary address to by appointment only or a post office box or something that people can't find your physical address but still be able to contact you in the rest of the ways. Okay, so the next part of this, um, just to go through this pretty quickly, is the group post email notifications. There is a um, group discussion portion of the social media section in BNI Connect. Um, I don't know if we'll have time to cover that today, but we do have a webinar uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, that covers all of the social media. So the internal messaging, finding and connecting with people, leaving testimonials, uh, all those things you can do to connect with other people around the world in BNI Connect. That's tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to be notified every time a new post is added or a once a day digest, a once a week digest, or never, these are your options for the group email notifications, the group postings. Uh, the next section for email forwarding if you have an email address that you'd like these notifications to go to other than your primary email address that's in your profile, you can do that. So let's say that you have um, you know, a work email address that you want as the one listed in your profile, but for the social media stuff, you want that to go to, let's say, a Gmail address or some other account that you have outside of your work. This will override, just for the social media stuff, will override what's in your profile with what you put in here. And again, this deals with the social media portion, uh, BNI Connect Messages. Those are the internal messaging system within BNI, which is accessed right through this little uh, mail symbol up here. You can email your connections, and it stays within the system. Or you can have it also forward those messages to your email address. Uh, same thing for connection requests, uh, recommendation requests, or testimonial requests. Um, and the final option is to opt out of optional emails, and that's a way that uh, your regional office uh, that may send reminders through the system, if they uh, send out uh, what they consider an optional email, uh, you can choose not to receive those optional emails here. Okay, so do we have any questions at all about the social media aspects, I'm sorry, about the um, bio aspects of your profile? If not, I'm going to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks um, for some commonly used functions within the system that you might be interested in. Now, Michael, okay, Michael has a quick question. Under email forwarding, uh, does clicking yes mean that it goes to my normal email? So going back to my account, And let me get to that tab here. If you choose yes, what it'll do is um, for all of these options, so the, if you receive any messages in BNI Connect, what it'll do is you'll receive the message in here, but it will also send a copy of that message to your normal email, yes. Um, so it will go to your normal email address or the one that you put in here if it's an alternative. All right, let me show you one more thing about your profile um, that you may be interested in, and that is the Photos tab. And Michael, this is, this is leading me into uh, your next question here, which is where you might put notes for your eight-minute presentation. And this may not be a perfect solution, but it might be uh, something that you find helpful. If we click on the profile again to, to look at what my profile is, you'll notice that there is a Photos tab, and this is a photo gallery. Now, you can use this for a couple of different purposes. You can use it to keep logos. You can use it to keep photos. Um, but an, and some people have started using this for is to keep things like testimonials. So if you get a written testimonial from a client and you'd like to share that with the world, 
that's a great way to do it. Either just take a picture of it or make sure you save it as a picture file, a JPEG or a PNG file. You can upload it into your photo library. And this is where it, you may be able to save your 8-minute presentation as well if you'd like to. Now to get stuff into your photo library, the way to do that is to click on Network, Picture Gallery. And this will take you to another place similar to the um, where you upload your logos and your um, personal profile picture. If you click Upload, we're going to click on the little Attach Image icon. Choose the image that we want to upload. Give it a title, a description. and click Submit. And again, uh, Michael, as far as your uh, eight-minute presentation, uh, this may be a way to get some of those notes or uh, other things up there if that's what you're looking to do, to share them or to store them uh, for future use. So um, unfortunately, it does need to be a picture file of some sort. So it has to be a JPEG or a PNG file, so it can't be a PDF or a PowerPoint. Um, but um, a JPEG, PNG, or a GIF file, um, and under 5 megs. Other than that, uh, again, that may, may be helpful. So, All right, a couple of functions in the system. Now, you'll notice we have some other things up here along the, the top. We have Network Operations Reports Tools Admin. You may or may not see all those options depending on what your access levels are. Um, that's uh, just how security works because I'm a system administrator. I do get to see everything, but uh, some things that you may want to do in BNI Connect is under Operations. Now, if you want to see reports like how's my chapter doing, what are the statistics, go into the report section. And I recommend that you go through there and just click on every single report that you have access to to see what it does. Uh, there, you can get some pretty interesting information from there. But I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do. If you go to Operations, Chapter, one thing that I always found challenging in BNI, I've been a member of BNI for coming up on 11 years now. Um, I joined in early 2002, the, was keeping in touch with the rest of my chapter. And it always used to be that you know, every time I wanted to send in a group email to everybody, it was kind of hunting through my Microsoft Outlook to find, okay, who sent the last group message? Let's hope everybody was in that list. And, oh, well, what about that member that dropped out last week? Let me look through the list. Delete somebody. Oh, that member that just joined a couple of weeks ago, are they in the list? And it always took a lot of time. But now you can go to Operations, Chapter, click on Create Email, and click on Email My Chapter. And what this will do is pull up an email address list of all of the people in your chapter. Now, hold on, let me just switch to Antarctica here so I'm not uh, showing a whole bunch of people's private email addresses. Click on Email My Chapter. And all you need to do is to highlight these, so you can take your mouse and drag and drop over them. You can also just hit Control A on your keyboard, right click, choose Copy, or hit Control C on your keyboard. Open up your own email program, whether that's Microsoft Outlook, or Gmail, or Yahoo, or uh, AOL Mail, or whatever you happen to use, and paste those. Recommend pasting them into the BCC line. Another thing that you may want to do is to invite people to your chapter, so inviting visitors. Uh, it's really easy in BNI Connect to send a visitor invitation that's automatically filled out with all the correct material, uh, information such as you know, address, when you meet, where you meet, and a brief explanation about BNI by only entering basically their name and their email address. So if I click on create email again and I email visitor information uh, invitation, just put in a first name. So I'm going to put in uh, you know, Joe Smith, what their company name is, their email address, 
So I'm going to put in my own email address here so you guys can see what this looks like. And a personal message. So let's say I met them at a chamber event. Uh, it was great meeting you at the chamber event. Hope to see you at my BNI meeting. Now once I click send, an email address is an email is immediately sent. And let me switch over so you can see what that email looks like. And you can see it has a nice BNI graphic at the top. It gives who it's to. And then it was great meeting you at the chamber event. Hope to see you at my BNI meeting. That's what I wrote. And then the rest of the information is pulling from the system. So it tells you that they're cordially invited to the chapter, where they meet, the Cool Breeze Cafe, located at 11 Snowball Court. is pulling this information automatically so you don't have to type it over and over and over again. When they meet, what time. And some information about BNI. So it makes it really easy to invite people to come and visit your chapter. Let me switch back over to my main screen. And the final thing I wanted to show you is actually under the reports. And we talked about doing the gains exchange before. And in order to do the gains exchange, we can do that directly in the system now. And you can do this for anybody in your chapter. Now, I'm going to pull up my own chapter here in BNI Connect and go to Reports, Chapter. Now, once I get to Reports, Chapter, there's Member Details Reports. And again, I encourage you to go through. You can't really break anything. Just go through and click through some of these reports and see what they do and see what information they pull up. We do have a webinar dedicated just to going through all the reports and what they mean. Uh, I'll show you where to check the uh, website for the upcoming webinars in just a few minutes. Go to the member details report. And if you're going to be doing a one-to-one -one with somebody, here's what I recommend that you do. Click on view member gains. Choose their name from the drop-down list. Now I'm going to choose myself because I know that it's all filled out. And click Go. And this will show you their gains profile. Now if you're doing a one-to-one -one with somebody else, you can now take this, print it out, bring it with you, or maybe print it to PDF and email this gains in order to do the gains exchange. Same thing with your bio. Your secretary treasurer can now go in and grab your bio and print it out before your 10-minute presentation. Alternatively, you can send this information before you're doing a one-to-one -one with somebody, and it helps to speed up the conversation of those one-to-ones right away. So that covers the material that I wanted to cover today on this webinar. Um, if we have any additional questions, I would be absolutely thrilled to answer any and all questions at this time. As I mentioned earlier, uh, I am happy to stay on this uh, webinar as long as you guys have questions, um, even though it is uh, officially scheduled to end in about three and a half minutes. While you're thinking of your questions, and there is one question here from Araceli, uh, the recorded webinars are only as reference or they count as in attended webinar. Um, that is completely up to your, your regional office. Um, different regions count their CEUs different ways. Uh, so have a chat with your director consultant or the leadership team for your chapter or your executive director and they can let you know um, how CEUs are counted in your particular region. So uh, I afraid I, I wish I had a better answer for you on that, um, but there are many, many regions of BNI in the world and people do them slightly differently. I have a couple of favors to ask you. Um, I do want to thank you for your time today. If you could do a couple of things for me very quickly, and the first of which, if you have any questions at all about BNI Connect or there's some, some things that you'd like to learn about, click on this little question mark within BNI Connect. This will bring you to support.bniconnect.com. You can also get there directly by just going to support.bniconnect.com. Once you get here, 
here's the webinar schedule. So you'll see all the different webinars we have, updating your profile, which is the one we just did. If you'd like to be a chapter webmaster, um, the stuff on social media, again, that one is tomorrow at noon Pacific, 3 o'clock Eastern time, same time as this uh, tomorrow. And then reports and chapter functions, leadership teams, chapter goals, all sorts of topics. We welcome you. A great referral for me would be to go back to your chapter and let them know about this webinar, about this webinar series. We do about 15 to 20 webinars a month, and we'd love to see other chapter members on these webinars. And if you scroll down past the webinar announcements, you'll see the trainings down here. And we cover just about every aspect of the BNI Connect system. And if, you're, if you forget how to email your chapter, for example, you can see under Chapter Operations here, here's a guide, a walkthrough to emailing your chapter. Step-by-step -step walkthrough, exactly how to do it. And again, we cover just about every aspect of the system with these walkthroughs. So take a search through those and see how they are. The final request that I have for you, oh, by the way, if you have a question um, and it's not answered through any of these forums or videos or recorded webinars, um, you can also submit a request. And you can send in your question and somebody from the support staff here uh, will answer your question and if it's something that's regional policy related we will make sure that we get you to the appropriate people to ask that question. Finally the place that I'd like you to go is to www.facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global BNI Connect Global www.facebook.com and on here this is our Facebook page give us a like if you could and this is where we're going to uh, do webinar announcements and reminders, as well as, uh, for example, uh, I did a pi podcast with Ivan a couple of, uh, that was released today uh, that gives a little bit more information about BNI Connect. Uh, we have tips and tricks and all sorts of things up there. So uh, we even have, if you scroll down a little bit up here, we have a sneak preview of what's coming up in the next version of BNI Connect. So please uh, go and take a look. So, again, uh, leave us a positive comment. You're also welcome to send in a testimonial, connect with me in BNI Connect, and I'd be, be happy to, to share stories with you and uh, get a deeper relationship. Now, we do have a couple of other questions that have come up. And uh, Gwendolyn asks, I logged into BNI Connect to follow along with you. I was only able to view my own region. How am I able to locate other members outside of my region? And you are correct. The drop-downs will only give you uh, access to the people that you're directly in relation with. If you're looking for people around the world, the place to go is this magnifying glass search people. From here, you can search for BNI members around the world. Uh, you do have to search one country at a time. So you can do a drop-down for all the different countries where people are associated with BNI Connect. So let's say I wanted to search for people in the United Kingdom. And let's say I wanted to search for computer people there. And these are all the computer people that are in the UK. From here I can connect with them by clicking the plus button or if I'd like to find more information about them I could click on their profile. And again if you have an hour tomorrow Tomorrow at the same time at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, I will be going into all of those things about the social media, connecting with people um, very much in depth tomorrow on the webinar. So Gwendolyn, I hope that helps answer that question. Uh, Gwendolyn says, when referring to public, is it only BNI members or truly the general public? Um, there, again, there's two sections to BNI, um, the first of which is bniconnectglobal.com. Only BNI members can log in to BNI Connect. Only BNI members around the world can log into BNI Connect. However, every region of BNI Connect around the world has a public website as well. Now, that's pulling the active member information from the inside. So, but everybody in the world has access to that. So, even though you're not a member uh, of our region here in Rhode Island, Yes, you can go to BNIRI.com. Your mom can go to BNIRI.com. 
your next door neighbor can go to BNIRI.com. Anybody in the world can go to BNIRI.com or from wherever you happen to be. And the same is true because it also, um, it, it is searched by Google. So if I go to Google.com and I do a search for Jeremy Walsh BNI, I'll get my LinkedIn profile. I'll get uh, an article that I wrote for SuccessNet, some stuff on uh, BNI Connect, and you know our BNI RI site pops into the search results as well. So it is stuff that is indexed by Google. And here we are here. Here's one of the, the sites that I'm listed on. So anybody in the world can access these pages. So hopefully that answers your question there, Gwendolyn. And again, we are at the top of the hour. Again, if there's any additional questions, I am happy to hang out as long as you guys have questions. So if there are no other questions, um, I would very much like to thank you for your time today. Uh, please do uh, a great referral for me is to go back. Please tell your chapter members. Uh, best referral for me is get people on these webinars. That would be very helpful. Go like us on Facebook. Please leave us a positive testimonial. And again, thank you for your time today. Happy connecting, everyone, and hope to talk with you soon.